What's up y'all, B-Dub the Anime Master is back. Today we're going to be talking about what if Discotech Media had Dragon Ball Z? Intro start. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master. Now this is a very interesting discussion because over the years Funimation has been the main licensor for Dragon Ball Media, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, the movies and etc, right? And, and well until the Crunchyroll takeover so now it's like Crunchyroll technically, anyway that's a bunch of fucking mess or whatever but the main thing I want to talk about is Funimation's various releases for Dragon Ball Z. And of course from the VHS tapes back in the 1990s to the DVDs and then the infamous Dragon Ball Z Orange Brick DVD box sets with the terrible remastering, processing and quality and etc. Then we move on to the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Box which was an awesome release but it went out of print extremely fast, I don't know why. But um, we never got the Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Box movie box set where it has the Dragon Box versions of the original 12 Dragon Ball Z movies and the TV specials. I wonder why they never released that. Like they announced it at the same time they released the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Box DVDs, but they never did it. I don't know why. It's, it's just strange to me. It's kind of a shame because it would have been nice to have those Dragon Ball movies. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, Z movies or whatever, and Dragon Box quality. It's a, it's a damn shame. But uh, then you move on to the uh, the first uh, Dragon Ball Z level set Blu-rays, which had mad potential. Fantastic potential, great video quality, some crushed blacks here and there in the Blu-ray, but it's whatever because the film master was kind of damaged and like degraded over time. But it had mad potential. Funimation canceled it. Only released two Blu-rays. What the fuck? Then the Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays came out, which looked like watercolor paintings. Terrible, terrible, terrible fucking remastering quality. Unbelievably awful, horrible. And then it was dormant for a while until they came out with the Dragon Ball Z uh, 30th anniversary release. We thought finally, maybe Funimation is going to finally do something good for the fans out there and deliver a 4x3 release of Dragon Ball Z because the Blu-rays was 16 by 9 crop of watercolor, terrible. Orange bricks, 16 by 9 cropped, bad remastering, terrible. The 30th anniversary release was 4x3, yes, but it still looked like shit. What the fuck? Then they came out with the Dragon Ball Z Steel Books, which was the same discs, Blu-rays from the 30th anniversary release. Now, after all these releases, you have your pros and your cons if you want to own Dragon Ball Z in complete physical media form that's great but the thing is you know it just has too many issues with these releases and in my personal opinion I think another company should take over Dragon Ball Z and I think the perfect company to take over is Discotech Media. Discotech Media has proven themselves to be an amazing niche anime you know company and they do a lot of hard work research and dedication for their DVD and Blu-ray releases I mean they fucking track down old English dubs, track down old masters, uh, uh, try to find as much material and, and, and unreleased bonus content as much as possible and pack it into these fantastic releases with some decent prices. And I feel that Discotech Media has the resources to track down, you know, better masters, better audio quality for the Japanese version of Dragon Ball Z because the Japanese version of Dragon Ball Z on the current DVDs and Blu-rays it's not that great. It was always muffled, always sounded awful. It just isn't that great. And supposedly there's a stereo master out there, uh, like a broadcast TV master that was in stereo. And I feel like a company like Discotech would actually use the effort to go track down those masters for the Japanese audio version. But if Discotech Media did have Dragon Ball Z, not only were they try to they will do one or two things one they will ask Toye animation to get the original film masters for the series and they will do their own frame by frame restoration for the series 
I know that's going to take a long time because it's 291 episodes, but I think it would be worth the effort. They would actually do a proper 4x3 remaster with the original colors, original nuances and everything and make it look pristine, clean and amazing. To mention, I feel that Discotech Media will actually try to track down stuff that been incomplete as far as the Dragon Ball Z release. One number one main thing I want to mention when it comes to incomplete releases is that none of the Dragon Ball Z releases, none of the current modern Dragon Ball Z releases, the DVDs and the Blu-rays, have the next episode previews whatsoever. And I'm talking about the next episode previews that Funimation created for the Toonami broadcast. The only way to have those next episode previews is, is the old is the old single DVD releases. And even back then, it was only one next episode preview per disc. It wasn't a next episode preview for every episode. It was at the end of the disc for the final episode of that disc. So a lot of those next episode previews haven't been seen in almost 20 fucking years. Unless you watch the YouTube videos, etc. There's no way to watch those next episode previews from the Tsunami broadcast. Now, the Japanese next episode previews are available on the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Box, the entirety of every single next episode preview. But I'm talking about the Toonami broadcast dub versions of the next episode previews. I feel like without those, the release is incomplete. And I feel like a company like Discotech will actually probably go into the Cartoon Network vaults or the Funimation vaults, whoever has these previews, and put them all on the discs, you know. I like nostalgia. I like. I remember watching these episodes on Toonami with the next episode previews and etc. I just miss having them. You know, where's the next episode previews? The dub next episode previews for Dragon Ball Z. No current Dragon Ball Z release has them. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and another thing I think Disco Tech Media would do, they'll probably do another thing that I think would be pretty cool. They will probably have a bunch of different audio tracks, a clean, restored Japanese audio track, and they will have the English dub 5-1 track with the original Japanese music, but they will probably do two more audio tracks. The remastered dub version that they currently have for all the current releases and etc. with all the redubbing and etc. And they'll probably track down the original broadcast dub track. That's right. The original 1999-2000 Dragon Ball Z dub track with all of the original voices. I mean the original narrator, Dale Kelly, all of that. They will have a separate audio track for that. So it'll probably be four audio tracks on those Blu-rays. That's how I feel that Discotech Media would do as far as putting in major effort to do a complete, awesome, amazing Dragon Ball Z release. The fact that Dragon Ball Z is still under Funimation slash Crunchyroll means they're gonna probably slap together another crappy 4K release or some shit like that, and then slap the remastered dub, the Japanese version, and call it a fucking day. You know, that's why I feel like if Discotech Media had Dragon Ball Z, we will probably get the best release because they've proven themselves greatly with Project A Code, Giant Robo, uh, all kind of fantastic releases that they have done over the years. Cyborg 009, they're coming out with the Japanese version of a uh, fucking uh, Shaman King remastered in HD. Sonic X, the subtitle version. Digimon, the original Digimon subtitle version. They go all in with these releases. And I think Discotech Media will do a way better job than Crunchyroll will ever do for Dragon Ball Z. Any other upcoming Dragon Ball Z release. That's just my opinion. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Discotech Media snatching the license from Funimation Crunchyroll for Dragon Ball Z and doing an amazing, perfect release? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I am B-Dub the Anime Master. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos. Peace. Follow me on social media, please. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok pages. Links are in the description. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget, hit that bell notification. Hit the bell notification so you'll be updated on brand new B-Dub the Anime Master videos.